not intentional. I would not do that to him nor anyone else. It's kind of worrying that she felt the need to have to specify, I would not do that to him or anyone else. But she did. Not intentional. You intentionally went up to bed. <laughs> I didn't intentionally go to bed because I'm thinking, okay, good, he can get out. I did not intentionally go to bed because I thought he could get That's still... Just because he buggered up his end of the bargain, Sarah, doesn't mean that it did, you didn't intentionally go to bed. How did you not intentionally go to bed? You said you went up to, upstairs and got into bed. That's intentionally going to bed. Waiting for him. Yeah. I mean, if anything, this is all George's fault, you know. This is all on him. And he doesn't come, but you don't go down to check on him. So I happen to go to sleep. When I say go to sleep, and what do you normally do when you go to bed? What do you normally do when you go to bed? What do you mean? What is a bed for? That was brilliant. What do you normally do when you go to bed? What do you mean? What? That's not a trick question, motherfucker. What is a bed for? Going to sleep. Right. So you go to but bed to do what? But obviously, you can tell too that, like, you I go think to bed to do what? Okay. You kept telling us, hey, I wasn't intoxicated. I wasn't this. I wasn't that. Being drunk and intoxicated, which, yes, yeah, she can tell that I had been drinking, but. Please tell me she did not just try and make an argument. There's a difference between drunk and into. I would, I think if you, if you accidentally kill someone and you don't remember making videos of it happening. Right. Drunk, intoxicated, whatever. Right, I would say you're at th that's the that's as far as you should go. Drunker than that is dead. Okay. So if you weren't intoxicated, then why would you ever leave somebody in a suitcase I, that's begging to get out, that's telling you they can't if breathe? If I weren't, if I hadn't been drinking, you you still think it would be the same thing? Where it's like, hop in. Uh, I'm gonna go to sleep. She, did, did she, did she she thinks that being drunk now. Is going to is because this is why people who drink drive never get fucking. This is why there's no such thing as drink driving. This is why if you get if you kill someone when you're driving drunk, you 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 immediately get let off with no charge because obviously if you hadn't been drinking, you'd never would have crashed into that school bus. So it's obviously not your fault. This 42 years old, she doesn't understand this. Is that what you all are trying to do to portray We're not me? We're trying to do anything. I'm simply asking you to explain to me what happened. Everything was fine <coughs> and dandy. I don't Everything call it fine and dandy. Was fine and dandy. Has there ever been a more inappropriate use of the phrase "fine and dandy"? What is? The, where's the fine and dandy? What is fine and what is dandy about this? Explain you all don't, okay, for, for me to tell you this, again, mind you, I've been without him for a day now. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I, I, I mean, I don't know what you all want me to tell you because this was not in any way, shape, or form, hand mm -hmm. on the Bible, intentional. Okay, can I just say, I love how the female police officer is fucking with her by playing the video in the background because she just went, I don't know what she was trying to say there. She said, she said, you know, I've been without him for a day. And then she just went off saying, I, 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 this, this, this was not my intention. This was not intentional. This was not, I, it, it, totally unintentional. But what, what, none of it makes any sense. Okay. So you just left I him there to teach him. I didn't kill him. You left him there to teach him a lesson? You. I didn't mean to leave him there. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You got up and walked away. How is that not intentionally leaving him there? Because I'm looking at the hole knowing that it's, a, it's there. She, she's now turning into David Brent. Because so, you're looking at the f puzzle through the mic screen, through, whereas I'm looking at the big, you know, the big picture. You know, the, uh, He'll get out no harm. Because you don't, and then he doesn't, but, but the, you don't go check on him. You say you're up for 30 minutes and he doesn't come up. You don't go down and check on him? I'm in the bed. 
You even move. And so I mean, off. you move. You admit to moving the suitcase yep. like over. So you roll it. You roll it over. Like it's not like I didn't want it to be like that. I, I didn't want it to be like that. This is what happens, folks, when you tell it when a child is never told no. Right? This is this is the end fucking result. Don't. You didn't want him to be upside down. How do you even get upside down? Right. How did he even get upside down? She just went. She just, she just, that's what she did. But how did she even get upside down? You guys are killing me right now. I just want you to hear. Probably shut the fuck up. That's how he talks to me most of the time. Okay, forget what I said at the start about is this woman worse than Belle Gibson? Belle Gibson is Florence fucking Nightingale. Compared to this woman. I don't know how, I don't know how you want me to say it. I'm just trying to figure out what you would expect to happen to somebody when you leave them in a suitcase. I didn't mean to leave him in there. But that's not the answer. That doesn't answer the question, Sarah. Okay. What's your but reasoning for... Um, not calling 911 sooner. Because I didn't know what to do and how horrific it was. I called Ryan and like what, five minutes later I called you guys? Five minutes? I mean, she's, you, he was purple, Sarah. You said to yourself, he was purple. Are you, who opens a suitcase that he's been in all night and goes, he's purple and goes, we'll give it five minutes. It would be fine. I'll call Ryan first. Who the fuck's Ryan? Not even five minutes. Nonetheless, that I had to, like, try to... I was trying to do CPR. Notice how she just suddenly thought of that. I was trying to do CPR. That I was trying to do CPR. I had to get him out and try to do CPR and then call you guys. And then was continually doing <laughs> CPR with the dispatch on the phone where he had me count out loud to help me focus on what I was doing. It just—I don't know how. I mean, you—you you can sit here all day long and say I thought he was going to get himself out, but that he didn't. And you went upstairs, and you stayed there for 30 minutes before you fell asleep. How, but can I say too, like, you chose not to ever at any point during that 30 minutes walk back okay. down and check on him. No, wait one second. Because I know, like, with you all, and then, like, because <coughs> you can continually ask me, like, time frames, time frames, time frames, where I told you, like, I don't bother even looking at the clock most of the time. So it's, like, a guesstimate. So I, for all I know, I was, maybe it was 10 minutes. Oh, okay. That's the fuck, that'll fucking, that, that, that changes literally everything. Okay. But the point is, you left the living room where he was begging for help and went upstairs. Regardless again, of how long you were there, you left. You say, I, I thought he was the, the boy calling wolf. Again. Uh, okay. So when he asked to be let out, like, what's your reasoning for not letting him out? When I was upstairs? No, when he's asking on the video. He asked multiple times. He asked to be let out. I can't breathe. What, like, why didn't you let him out? Well, number one, I uh, number one, I had no idea it was going to end like that. Okay. Number one. Okay. Uh, number two, just you know what? I'll give you five minutes or so in there. That's go give you five minutes or so. Five minutes for what? You couldn't. You can't see it as well from this angle. Did you see the look? That she just gave five minutes for what? She went. She thinks she can fucking just. Oh. Five minutes for what? I'll give him five minutes in there. I'll give him five. This isn't a packy one chip challenge, my, darling. Well, based off the video, one video is at 11.12 and the next one's at 11.23. So you actually gave him at least 11 minutes per video recording. Whoopsie. Recording. So my, my thing is, when it stopped, he asked multiple times. I mean, why? Why did you not let him out? It's just a simple I, question. To be honest with you, I, I mean... I don't Were you punishing him? No, 
just well, that's what you're saying in the video. Um, this is what you get. This is yeah. what you make me feel like. See, and then it's all backfired on me. Like it's all backfired on me. And I this is all backfired on me. So she, so she is basically saying George did this on per George sacrificed his own life just to fuck with you. The ultimate prank. I understand the severity of this. I just... You don't. It's awful, I know. Okay. All right. Calm down. No need to get snippy. Okay. It's awful. And I will tell you both this right now, too. I will never drink alcohol again. Do you know what? That is the one thing she says that is 100% accurate. Now, it's not for the reason that she fucking meant, so probably still doesn't count, but if we're going to be generous, and let's just fuck it be generous, that's a, that is a factually accurate statement. She won't be drinking alcohol ever again. You'll never make love to a woman on the beach, and no more steak for me, ever. Okay. Like, I will never drink alcohol again. I don't care what it is in any way, shape, or form. Okay. I'm... But let's get back to this. Oh, 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 God, we have to keep talking about this, but I want to talk about me and what, you know, oh, God. What was the reason for leaving him when he's begging to be let out? I don't understand that. What I have a feeling was, and again, it's the whole time frame thing. You go, I, I, I'm not asking a time frame. I don't care about a time frame. So, he's in the bag saying, I, I can't know, and you. I, my God. And you say, fuck you. When he, so, like, for, like, the whole few minutes that he was in there, like, I, minimum 11. But yes, go ahead. For the few minutes he was in there, right? Minimum 11. That's a few. Te strictly speaking, if I said, you know, if I was meeting you and I said, I've got, I'll be a few minutes and I was 11 minutes, that I would not be, that would. T fucking hell. Well, in between those two videos. Between those two minutes. videos? Okay. Yeah. So, so, so what was the question again? <laughs> well, she just said there was, what was the question again? Like, because she doesn't know. She's so busy. She's talking so much shit. She's forgot what they were talking. Like, what's the question again? What happened, Sarah? How is this not your fault? That is the question. It's what it's always been. When he's begging for his life, telling you he can't <laughs> breathe, let me out, and you say fuck you. Why don't you just let him out? I mean, let's just say, for, on, also on a side note, that. You know, as far as the hide and seek game goes, I won that, obviously. What are you trying I to prove to him? There was obviously I... something in your head that you were thinking of when he was asking to let you, be let out. You're like, no, again, it's no. the boy calling wolf. Okay, but where does where does this game end? I don't. Did you say this is a game? You got obviously in there. like the wrong way. So what was your intention for leaving him in there? And it's not fair. It is not fair. You guys are trying to, again, oh, he's in there. Night, night. That's what happened. No. That's absolutely what happened. Intentionally. How's it not? You got up off the couch, walked up the flight of stairs, and got in your bed. Thinking he was going to get out. And he didn't. And you still didn't go down and check And it's out. the whole 30-minute thing that you guys are trying to do. I don't care about Whatever. It's like, I, for all He's I know, it's 10 minutes. He's begging for his life. He's begging for his life, telling you he can't breathe. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, I don't. I didn't intentionally mean for this to happen. But you then can't tell you us intend? why you left him in there and went upstairs. So that's my only issue. Like, what am I supposed to write? What do I write? So my thing is, though, it's what I have a feeling is I went upstairs and just hit the bed kind of thing. But, again, I'm thinking he'll be up here any minute. But then I go out. Well, my question is why didn't you just let him out prior to going up? I don't know why. Thank you. There's the answer. I don't know. It's a crap answer. It's probably not. It's probably not true. But it, that's what they're getting at. 
He's begging to be let out. He's not laughing. <laughs> he's not having fun. This, right, you said, I know. This, you I said this was supposed to be fun. You were laughing before. Before you said he was laughing, you were laughing, you went upstairs, he had his fingers out of the bag, and he was playing. Well, obviously that's not the case. So are you guys, so what is it you're trying to, like, we're like, just trying to figure out why. Why? 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 What? Why? What was why? the motivation for leaving him in the bag? Why he was left in the bag? Why the video? I didn't yeah. have any motivation. It was me, he and I having a great day, fooling around and being stupid, and apparently me going upstairs and going to okay. hitting the bed. <laughs> hitting the bed. We're having a great day being stupid. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm Sarah Boone. Welcome to Jackass. Not going to sleep, where it's like, hmm, I'm tired now. I'm gonna go to sleep. Well, that's that's excluding, you know, that's a good analogy for the day. Excluding the fact that he's got uh, a a bump on the back of his head, a bump on the front of his head, and his lip is busted, and he has a oh bump on gosh. his eye. I mean, I don't know what you all want me to tell you. Like this is not fair at all, at all. Yes. That you all are assuming that that's from me. Where else did it come if from? If you were, say it's opposite, you were in the suitcase and you're asking to be let out, would you hope that that person would let you out? Like, you're asking to be let out of a suitcase, should they not let you out? Uh, eventually. Wrong answer. Eventually. Well, to be fair, you did eventually let him out. I'm guessing. I mean, I don't... I'm blaming it on the wine. But we can all agree. It was the it was the wine. Am I right? Am I right, fellas? Hey, yeah. let's blame let's blame it on the wine. Yeah. I'm not blaming it on the sun, sun, sun. I'm not blaming it on the sunset, sunlight, the moonlight. I'm not blaming it on the boogie. <laughs> blaming it on the wine. So you guys are like assuming that you keep saying we're assuming. Oh, we're not. We haven't assumed anything. Questions. But you guys are assuming that that's what I did. No. By what like, the, is, the facts of what happened, we got there. You said he, you pulled him out of a suitcase. You said you went up. You went to bed. We're not assuming that. These are the facts that you're telling us. But now what we're said is like, oh, I'm tired. Them. Oh, I'm tired. Well, that's what you told me on a sworn recorded statement yesterday. Because when I said, oh, you went upstairs and passed out, you were like, no, I did not pass out. You got attitude with me because you were assumed you yep. thought I was assuming that you were drunk so that's that's an assumption that was an assumption when I said yep. you passed out and guess what you corrected me you were very adamant about the fact that both of you had your wedding <laughs> after. what's your favorite word to use compass mentis. you've used it today too that to say that you guys were within your within your wits <coughs> there's two two empty bottles of wine no but we didn't drink both of them I think you did. We didn't. Okay. Now, now she's just stepping on herself again. She's saying, I'm blaming it on the wine. And there's two bottles of empty wine. And now she's saying, I didn't drink all of them. Like, well, Sarah, make your mind up. Are you going to go down the... You can't... She, she's confused herself now. Receipts for the They were both factor. purchased yesterday, so I don't know how you didn't. Because they weren't there the day before. The there one was... Two public receipts from yesterday. Mm-hmm. Only thing purchased on either one was a single bottle of wine, two of them. So we have each bottle of wine that was empty in your garbage can that you purchased yesterday, or he purchased, but you two would have consumed together. Okay, well, I... I mean, there's receipts, so it's not even worth the... So this is... <coughs> so I don't know what you guys are... I don't, I don't know. Correct. You don't. We were just hoping that we could figure out why you... What was the motivation? There was no motivation. Well... But we're watching a video that, <laughs> after talking to you, everything was ha laughing and fun. Now we're watching a video where it's not laughing and fun. He's begging for his life, and you are in a very angry voice telling him to fuck off. No. Yes. It's not that's ac absolutely what it was. It's not an assumption. <laughs> the video is there. We played it for you. So you guys think that I intentionally? You did. It, it, you got up on the couch it doesn't and walked up the couch. Think. Or walked up the stairs and got into bed. That was intentional. There's no way of getting around that. You intentionally did that. Nobody drug you up there. I could just tell. You know when you can look at the back of someone's head and see, you can tell 
how fucking pissed off they are. That I can tell from looking at the back of this fucking male copper's head, right? How incredible! Like he just fucking like like this is how dare you say this is what like this is, like. You didn't float up the damn stairs. Okay, well, it's not fair. It's not fair that you guys keep trying to say that that's what I did. I don't know what to tell you. You told us that. You didn't go upstairs? <coughs> Again, there was a hole in a suitcase. Oh, my God, would you drop the fucking hole in the suitcase? I unzipped it from the hole with one finger. Well, the damn hole didn't do him no good, did it? But he could push it open. <coughs> no, he couldn't. Did I, the video no. shows him pushing up. And if he could push it open, why wouldn't he have gotten out himself? Why would he beg you to open it? Okay. I'll show you he can't breathe. She can't answer that. Okay. If I, someone I, can I, do something for themselves, they're going to do it. They don't need assistance unless they need assistance. So, but why would he and start doing it? Because he couldn't because it was all the way zipped. Okay. Didn't see it. It wasn't. Oh, that is what she's saying. Like, he just chose not to do it. So, fuck this. I'll show her. I intentionally didn't do it. That I intentionally did not do. What was that? <laughs> you didn't intentionally do what? Zip it all the way. He nor I. Nor I. Again, pretentious. Moi. Well, he's dead as a result Lay of your action. On each other. He is dead as a result of I your action. I understand that. So That's why you two didn't lay hands on each other. No. No. I don't have anything. You're right. He doesn't. Uh, whatever that is. Wh whatever this is. Whatever this. Shit. What you mean? The bruises on his head. Whatever this shit is. Whatever this. Whatever it he is. He does. <laughs> See, this is what happens. It's not fair that you guys just because he has those automatically blame it on me. Like, well, what about when go? you had you, your injuries and he gets arrested? Is that not fair? Really? Like, it's really? Exactly. Yeah. Brilliant argument there, Sarah. Really? Really? You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna throw that, throw that at me? Hmm? Yeah. Knowing there's absolutely no way I could reasonably fucking counter that because it's a watertight you know, argument, you know, hmm, really? You're going to fucking use that? Fine. Same thing. He, really? He has injuries. You have injuries. Like, what does that mean? I don't have any injuries. Correct. Because so he and I have either. not been at it with one another. <coughs> so every time that you guys fight, you, you both hit each other? So you should have probably no. gone to jail all those times that he went to jail? No. I love how the female officer is now just like, she's done with Sarah's shit to the point where she's she's just on her phone. Fucking, she's like, you know, just fucking on Snapchat or TikTok, just like done with this fucking woman's bullshit. Oh, the one time I did, <coughs> but he completely, completely trashed the police report. Because that's nothing what happened. Because the reason why I got taken in was because my story was different than his. So I'm being per portrayed as like this abuser. We're not saying that he doesn't abuse you. Absolutely. We're not saying. So I'm the one that's being portrayed as the abuser. Well, I think in the game of, you know, I think when two abusers go at it, in the game of who's the biggest abuser, the winner is the one who ends up not dead. And the other one, I think that's the, that's how we determine who won and lost the who's the bigger abuser game. So you win that one as well, Sarah. You do excel at everything, don't you? <laughs> because I have sure. never dealt with anything like this before. I don't know what to do, how to do it, and I always know what to do and how to do it. I've never dealt with this before, and I know everything. I always know what to do. This is the first time in my life I've never, I've, I've been stumped, ever. Mark the date and the time. This will be a fucking, this will be a pub quiz fucking last round question. For decades to come. Believe that. This, I don't know. So I don't know, like, what's going on or, like... <coughs> we are simply trying to find out as well. Again, 
we got one side of the story, you're telling us, we're going with what you're saying, but then we find stuff that negates what you're telling us. And I don't even remember doing that. Okay. You're telling us that we're assuming stuff, but what we're simply doing is telling you what we saw in the video and repeating understand. what you told us. I understand. If you, if you understand, why do you keep arguing? Because I don't remember that. Okay. Doesn't mean it didn't happen just because you don't remember it. So is the texting thing something about me? Like what's? <laughs> oh my God! Is the t I've never noticed that before. Like, because they get in their phones. Like, is the texting thing? Is that something about me? Is it? Is it? Like, everything. My God! Can you imagine living with this woman? The what? Texting? Oh no, I'm texting. No, I, I don't <coughs> You guys crazy. are scaring me, so, like, I don't know, like, what to expect. I mean, I had questions of things that need to be taken care of. Like, I don't... What are I your mean, questions? I, I have one last question. I just, I mean, <coughs> you, you realize you're the person that killed him, right? I had thought about that. She just admitted that. I have thought about that, yes. So, so at this point, we know that she knows that she killed him. Right? She, because she just said, I have thought about that, yes. Right? So she knows that. And yet, she is still, as you're going to see, she's still not sure whether or not what she did was a crime and whether or not she's going to be arrested for it. Okay, you left him in a bag when he's begging you, saying, I can't breathe, let me out, and you said, fuck you. And you got up off the couch and went upstairs and left him in that bag. Not I died. Intentionally. Again. I would never do that to George. You did. Not it intentionally. Happened. Know that. I don't. But know that. That bit there where she goes, know that. And he says, no. He goes, know that. It's like... I, I, it's, it, it's incredible that she thinks that she can just go, know that. Like, that she, she can order this man. Like, it's like some Jedi mind trick. Like, she can just say, like, I didn't do it to know that. And he's like, I don't know that. He's like, know that. Like, what, what is, like, I, it's, inc I've never seen, I've never seen a human being so entitled, who is so fucking delusional as this, like, at this point, like, know that, you know, you know, just take my word for it. Know that because I said, and she can just sit there and smack her fucking hands. It's incredible. We, we should we should be grateful that this woman, like as well as being this insane narcissist, right, a fucking psychopath, is also d just dumb as fuck and an, a, a complete degenerate alcoholic. Because if she had ever achieved, if she was in a position of privilege where she could have achieved anything. Like, th she could have been fucking so much more dangerous. You got up and you went up to bed. Alcohol is a shitty thing. It's alcohol. Do you know what? Damn it, she's right. It is alcohol, right? Let's arrest alcohol. Dave, officer, da put out an APB on all officers now. We must bring in alcohol. What the fucking hell are you talking about, you insane bitch? So Not I, I again. The reason that you killed him? You all? Please sit down. Listen to me. <laughs> what, what is she standing up for? Is this going to be her big moment? What are you standing up for? People, this is the thing. People like her, they always think that, they think of everything in terms of like, you know, scenes in movies. Like, this is going to be the big... Like, she's standing up because this is going to be the scene where presumably whoever plays her, where Scarlett Johansson, probably, in her fucking mind, you know, who played her, you know, is going to be give her big fucking inspirational fucking speech. Jesus, she's standing up! There's two police officers! There's no one there! Who is she talking to? You all listen. I did not... Intentionally? Not. Oh, fuck. Intentionally. Hey! Kill him. 
So your intention. I don't know what it is I need to do or how to do it or what to say or how to say it. But your but what was your intention? Everyone knows. Everyone knows everything that I've done for George and love him and continuously helped him throughout his life with me and made him a happier, better person. Oh my Sarah, stop with this. He's fucking dead. And everybody has their limits. Everyone knows that. Everybody has their limits. So it's like, okay, so while we're in a good place right now, I'm going to snap? Is that what it, while we're in a good place well, right now? Yes. Absolutely. I guess. See, she, she just walked into, she just literally described what happened. And she's, and she's got nothing. She just, she just, I'm just going to snap. She went, you did. I got you on video screaming, fuck you. This is what it feels like when you're choking me. This is what it feels like. Which when was you're however long ago. Me. <coughs> you said. The video was from last night. Well, clearly. So it wasn't that. Yet. Yeah. There's still feelings towards it. You wouldn't say it if you didn't feel it. But I would never do that. Again. I would never do that. The thing she's on. I would never do. I mean, even OJ waited a few years before he released the If I Did It book. She's right there pointing at the video evidence of her doing something, saying, I never did that. But it happened, and you did. But, you but did. that's after being playful. But no. That's after being playful and having a good day. Imagine what would happen on a shitty day. I mean, am I right? Am I right? Hey, I'm blaming the wine. Arrest alcohol. No one's I'm having a good day. No one's laughing except you. Every I having a good day. day. <laughs> oh, I'm trying. I would hate to see a bad day. Y'all are making me out to be a <coughs> person that I'm not. Nor have, or will I ever be. Or are you a different person when you're drunk? People have different personalities it, after they consume alcohol. It depends. It's like it's. Listen to the answer to this question because it's a corker. Well, because you're sober now, so yeah. sober you. Nice well, person. What about you? Not. <coughs> it's both of us. It's both of us. So you can be sober you and drunk you at the same time. Okay, that is that is just literally not possible, Sarah. You can't be sober you. It is possible for sober you and drunk you to both be unbearable bitches, but you can't. But, but you can't sit there and say that you are both sober and drunk you at the same time. It's both of us, and it's again, it's not fair that you all are assuming that the marks that he has on him are from me. We asked you where they came from. I have no idea. Well, nobody else was there, so nobody else. Was there. I have no idea. I swear I did not lay a hand on him. Okay. You just zipped them in the bag. Nor he. You just zipped them in the bag. And then you flipped the bag around several times. I didn't do that intentionally. She didn't do that intentionally. Did you do anything? Is there anything that you did on this night that you made a conscious decision to do? Is there anything, you know, are you, were you devoid of agency? Did someone have control of your brain? You didn't intentionally flip the bag around? No, why would I do that? Well, you Good told question, me you did. did. When and he was, was upside was down. down. Right. Well, you had to put you him upside get, down. You can't get in a suitcase upside down yeah. because the... Oh my God. Well, you put the See, stuff and that's in where his body was? That's the unfortunate thing too, is nobody else was there. <laughs> that's well, we have a video thing. showing the, the suitcase in several different positions. So uh, it shows, one, like she just said, it had to been on its back with the lid open for him to get in there for you to zip it up. Then it shows it on the other side with him in it, so you had to flip it to there. Then there's another video where it's on his back again, so you had to flip it there. I'm leaving it like this, please. I'm leaving it like this. I think you should have left this quite a long time ago, Sarah. I think it's a bit late to be leaving it anywhere. I did not intentionally do this. There you are, Your Honour. Case closed. Oh, shit. Actually, no, I shouldn't say that. Um, yeah. I rest my case. No malicious content or effort N was no, towards no it. No malicious content. No, no mal...
No suspicious, suspicious in, in, intent. Nothing. This was completely non-conventional, right? I am not pissed. No malicious. No malicious. See, just do do it with the hand motion. And that makes it all the more. I would I'm say this is that help you sleep, but you're not sleeping. That was some fucking shade thrown there, bruv. Fucking suck on that one, Boone. I would I'm say this is that help you sleep, but you're not sleeping. Now the funeral is over, and all the tears are dried up. Niggas hanging tape on the cut, getting fired up.